Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Tuesday, the 20th day of September, 2022. Tuesday of the 25th week of the year. Um, uh, the 25th week in ordinary time is also today the memorial of the Korean martyrs, uh, St. Andrew Kim Taegong and uh, Paul Chong Hassan and companions. Uh, martyrs in the 1800s, uh, where Christianity was trying again to establish itself uh, in Asia. Um, uh, along the Pacific, uh, sometimes uh, good ways, not always in the best ways. Um, uh, and so Andrew, uh, Paul, and their companions uh, unfortunately suffer martyrdom because of some erroneous ways in which again, Christianity tried to implant itself um, into the Asian countries. Uh, so remember them. I remember them and the Church of Korea uh, today um, and uh, the, the uh, furthering of the understanding of, of love and care and forgiveness uh, that, that Christianity has helped to also promote um, in, in, in Korea. Um, this is the second day of priest retreat. Uh, so still here at, um, I think I'm around this side, so here at the blockade runner, uh, the, the ocean is a little bit nicer today and in, the dew point is not as terrible as it was yesterday morning. Uh, so the surfers are out um, in force again trying to take advantage of what waves there are this morning. Um, so on this day, there are special readings for Andrew and Paul and their companions, uh, but uh, the readings for today, again, continue with the pithy maxims of um, uh, Proverbs. And uh, again, one of the important things about Proverbs, again, it's it's making a distinction between types of people. Um, and um, again, it's like that uh, those who make their pursuits uh, through lying are not going to be people who end up well in the end. Um, it is, again, that those who take care of the poor um, are the ones who are going to be most blessed. Um, uh, these kinds of ways, again, it's just of understanding ourselves and caring um, about each other and understanding our role as believers within uh, the world. Um, it begins with a statement about the king, um, and it's not basically Charles, it is about the king of Israel, Proverbs having been written during the time of the monarchy, the Israeli monarchy, the um, Israelite monarchy. Um, but again, it's, it, what um, Proverbs offers us, um, again, are things to think about in our own lives, about how we are to treat people, how we are to receive what, what life gives us, how we are to understand God in the midst of all of this. Um, and that um, basically our actions do impact not just ourselves, but others. And our actions do sometimes determine, you know, what it is that our future may hold. Um, so um, again, always very important information to think about as we live our lives as believers in this world. We do not live for ourselves. We do not live uh, solely in isolation ever from one another um, or from God, uh, but that all of that is allowing us uh, to become the people that God has created us to be. Um, in Luke's gospel, uh, it's a very short gospel, which again, where Jesus' mother and his brothers, again, um, and Mary and Joseph could have had other children. Um, they were not just to have one child, or Mary was not just to have one child, Jesus, and that's it. Uh, so that Jesus' family, again, wants to see him. Why they want to see him is not clear. In Mark's gospel, they want to see him to take him home because they think that he has lost his mind and he should be back in the carpenter shop. Um, in Luke's gospel, it's just not clear. It's just that Mary and Joseph want to see him. But what's um, unfortunately rude is that Jesus doesn't want to see them. Um, and then it goes into this, who are my mother, who are my brothers, those who keep the, your father's commandments and live them, etc. cetera. Um, is Jesus slighting his family? Is he, is he um, rejecting Mary and, and the rest of his family, his brothers, his sisters, whoever else were, were there? No, it's not again a rejection, but it is a question about familial ties, which were very important in the ancient world. Without your family, you were nothing. Um, the same is true today, um, to a different degree, uh, but the same, this could be also be that um, our ties to our family become so important and so overwhelming and so time consuming that we forget about everyone else. Um, Jesus is expanding the understanding of what it means to be family. It isn't just bloodlines and blood relationship that make us, is, that make us family. Um, it is our care and love for one another. It is the bond that exists and is cemented between one another. It is all of that together that creates family. Um, blood is one way of doing that, uh, but the relationships that we establish with each other is quite another. Um, and those are important and sacred and to be revered. Um, something to think about, perhaps, on this day, in which we honor uh, Andrew and Paul and their companions on the second day of priest retreat, um, the Tuesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. And the Lord, may the Lord give you his peace.